Y'all are doing all this hooping and hollering and putting niggas against niggas for the white man's dollar. I don't give a fuck what you're saying. You're doing it for the white man's dollar because what you know is that the streets are not going to give you a red fucking cent. Only thing they'll give you is their attention for the little bit of time that you're doing some negative shit. The instant you start doing something positive, they will no longer want to see you. Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation, and this is Are You Serious? As in Casanova. What up, Damu? Let me be high with you, big dog. What's up? What's up, big home? You ain't gangster no more? You was just on Joe Button pull up shit talking about uh, Safari. The reason why you don't fuck with Safari is like, you know what I'm saying? He's not a civilian. Everybody was telling you that he was a civilian. And you like, no, nah, he ain't no civilian. He all on nigga versus trying stretch, stretch, suck your mother. All this shit like that. And you didn't appreciate it because like he's acting like he gangster. He's with street niggas. But when street shit happen, he wanna talk to the police and he don't wanna handle, handle that shit like a street nigga would. Well, big homie, like, you asking niggas, did they want you to kill 6ix9ine? Like, what y'all want me to do? Kill 6ix9ine and shit? Like, what the fuck? You want me to go to jail? Nigga, yeah. Ain't you a street nigga? Like, ain't you gangster? Like, do you do anything different than what fucking Safari do? Don't you be on the like on tracks talking gangster? Like my nigga, so if you gangster, hell and shit gangster. This nigga ain't apologize for being no fucking fake blood. Y'all didn't come to no resolution. Y'all didn't find no middle ground. You was at this nigga because he was like screaming at blood shit. And he's not no blood and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You was at this nigga for a whole nother reason. Like, you was at this nigga about this bullshit that he's doing, which he's still doing. He hasn't stopped doing it. And I was all, it's the beef over with. And I don't have no issue with the beef. I don't, I didn't, I don't know why you was beefing in the first place. That, that wasn't your beef to take up, but you took it up. I know why you did. You took it up because it was profitable. Beef sales. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is controversy. Like, this business one-on-one. -on -one. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is put controversy in it. And, you know, we boost sales up. This is what the fuck 6 9 and, and Trippy are doing right now. You can, like, uh, uh, wh wh who's dead people? What dead people you talking about? Man, fuck your dead people. Fuck all your dead people. What you fuck? Like, that shit is so fucking fake. If you kids are watching 6 9 and Trippy Red, it's a whole, I'm off. If you're watching Trippy Red and 6 9 just know that that is not a real beef. That, that Elliot is both to their manager and he's telling them to perpetuate the beef because sales are up as they continue to beef. Like, people are watching them. So, Elliot's saying, just keep it going. Y'all know that y'all are friends, so just keep going. Just fuck around. We're just entertaining. So, what they've actually done is, every, like I told y'all, they've taken Mona Scott's blueprint and they've now applied it to all of social media. Hold on, these fucking dogs. Y'all gonna have to come in and out now. Yeah, they've taken her blueprint and they've applied it to their everyday life. Now, anything can be a reality TV show because all you need is fucking people that are all on the same accord, knowing that we're all doing a show. We're entertaining. That's fucking fine. But I'm here to make sure that lame niggas make sure that the world of people who do want to hear real shit understand that this ain't real. So don't follow behind that shit. Like you're not. I don't give a fuck if while you're in while you're in public, you're telling everybody, "Fuck it, fuck it, nigga, kill everybody, fuck that shit, nigga." Woo, so woo, big B, nigga, I, nigga. I was 16. I killed everybody. Like you all with this gangster, gangster shit in public, but behind closed doors with your with your children, you're telling them to go to school, get their lesson, stop all, pull your fucking pants up. You real strict with your kids, but when it comes to the whole world, and I know it's not your job to be nobody's fucking mentor, but it's also not your job to lead people in the wrong direction. 
What you do on your Instagram and all that good shit like that, whatever, lead by example. When it's beef like this and it's on whatever like that, first of all, I understand how you came, Cass. You came and you said, I, I did this in jail, whatever like that. It is what it is. And I also understand that times got hard. You're not selling like that. Like, you're not in the game like that. You're not doing numbers like that. So, you like, you know what I'm saying? That's why you let, you, you've already spoken this. You said that you let the uh, Takashi shit, the rumor that you auditioned him on set tripping, whatever the song the name, the, the name of the song was, like, you said you let the rumor go that you was talking about him, whatever like that, knowing that it wasn't about him. So, you know what I'm saying? You, you were getting pulled. You, know you a real nigga on it. Like, you telling the truth and shit. But what I have to point out the fact that you're on this motherfucking camera. You on live with this nigga and you asking niggas in the street. What y'all want me to do? Y'all want me to kill him? I ain't going to jail for nobody. Okay, well, hell. So, why the fuck didn't you have that energy when, like, when you first seen the whole situation? Because now you look compromised. Now you look like a sellout. This is any nigga who has built their career on them being a real fucking street gorilla. As soon as it's seen that that's not who you are, your career is over. That's why you want to base your career on something more than just your persona. This is why Cardi B has ghostwriters. Because you can't just base your career on that. Ah! Ah! Because that cooning bullshit and all that, 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 that fucking tap dancing and trying to be a fucking shine for white people is only going to last so fucking long. White people are only going to be entertained with the same nigga for so fucking long. They swap out their niggas like fucking underwear. That white money is good. That shit is good to have, whatever like that. But dancing on these fucking tables and just leading by fucking example. Bobby Smurda danced on tables. And when he went to jail, Epic sold his shit and did not bail him out. They didn't do shit for him. Y'all are doing all this hooping and hollering and putting niggas against niggas. For the white man's dollar. I don't give a fuck what you're saying. You're doing it for the white man's dollar. Because what you know. Is that the streets are not going to give you a red fucking cent. Only thing they'll give you is their attention. For the little bit of time that you're doing some negative shit. The instant you start doing something positive. They will no longer want to see you. As soon as a nigga has a title on his video saying. Casanova gets record deal. Casanova uh, gives to a charity. Niggas ain't finna watch that fucking video. Casanova, this is 6 9 Niggas gonna look at that. So to them same fucking people that don't want to see nothing but death and destruction, you're asking them what you I'm, what I was supposed to kill them? Boy, I ain't going to jail for nobody. Nigga, you pussy then. Fuck you, you a lame ass, hoe ass nigga. You not no street nigga, you fake as fuck. This is what happened to Alley Boy. This is what happened to Young LA. This is what happened to Plies. Plies had to switch his whole shit over to comical shit. Because that whole gangster top goon shit went out the fucking window. I don't understand why. When did, when did, when did being talented just go out the window? When did actually perfecting your craft go out the window? When did, when did it, when did, I, I don't have to really, that's a rhetorical question because I, I, I understand when it happened. Because, see, the executives, the people who don't give a fuck about rap music are the same people who didn't give a fuck about rap music when Easy e uh, Tupac, Snoop Dogg, Shook Knight, and all these niggas were going. Like, it was one fucking company distributing the West Coast music and the East Coast music. So as the beef was going on, they were getting richer. They were getting richer listening to golf groups. Niggas was actually dying. And they've always done that. they always fucking done that. Pop stars don't do this. Mexicans don't do this. 
country people don't do this. Only us. The, the genre, the only genre dominated by black people is the only fucking genre where if you're not hurting nobody, we don't want to hear from you. If you're not, when I say hurting, I mean selling dope, um, belittling, you know what I'm saying? I mean like making hoes feel like they ain't shit. I'm, this is what the industry, like if you're not, to, if, if your verse ain't talking about how you fucking a nigga bitch, how you selling this much dope and how you a killer nigga, kill a nigga, fuck a nigga bitch, and sell, sell your, your auntie some dope. I'm not, I'm not here to preach no conscious shit. I'm just saying. Like, it, it... I'm not preaching consciousness. I'm telling you, Casanova, don't ask niggas what was you supposed to do because you know what the fuck you was supposed to do. You came in on that rah-rah, I'm street shit. What I'm saying is, for the nigga, for the next nigga up... Don't come in on that I'm a super, super gangster, gangster, super, because you'll get put in a situation like this to where niggas all going to look at you funny style when you make up with a nigga who has not said nothing to you and a nigga that's weaker than you. This nigga is weaker than you and you bowing down to him because he got more money than you. You bowing down to this nigga because you need money now. Do y'all not see? For all my young folks looking at this shit, this is exactly what just happened. What just happened was the real street nigga is bowing down to the fake blood. The real blood who actually kill and hurt niggas that really do real shit in the street is bowing down to the fake trolling Mexican that's claiming blood. This is what game we're in. This is the industry you're watching right now. This is what the fuck you're trying to get into. This is this industry. All of this shit is backwards. So when you come in, understand, you don't have to do that rah, rah, rah gangster shit because you're going to get put in this situation where that's all they're going to let you do. With Casanova, the people don't want to see him do nothing else but go back to prison. That's right. That's Cas, they want you to go back to prison so they can have something to ta- like talk about. But that's two times, Tax Stone, Troy Al, Bobby Smurda, the list goes fucking on. Chinks drugs. Who gives a fuck? Nobody gives a fuck. It is something else to talk about. But this y'all real life. This is y'all real fucking life. And niggas don't give a fuck about it. It's nothing but entertainment. And you allowing that same mindset to perpetuate. You're not a retarded ass nigga. Like you know what the fuck this entertainment shit is. Why in the fuck would you allow someone to put you inside of a beef? Don't beef with niggas. Just do your music and do your entertainment shit. You put yourself in a very conflicting situation. Now niggas gonna speak on this. But I'm glad you did it because it's, it's allowing me to show the kids this is what the fuck you're trying to get into. This is how fake this shit is. This is what money and and fame will make you do. Money and fame will make you bow down to someone that couldn't even wear your fucking socks. Casanova, his new like Casanova is Takashi 69 new security guard. Pure point blank. Takashi 69 is using this nigga name. Shot is in jail. He fired Billy Otto. All these niggas can kill this nigga. Like, all these niggas can beat 6 9 the fuck up at any time. But because the white man won't give nobody no money but the Mexican, he's making the niggas bow down to the Mexican, and he's laughing the whole time. Count money. He passing down. He giving, he giving Takashi the crumbs. He giving the Mexican the crumbs, and then the Mexican is sprinkling the crumbs the little bit. He bang them and sprinkle on the niggas. Big Face Podcast. If you ain't hit the PayPal, hit the PayPal. Ayo Conseco, Ayo Nation.